you're not going to Beyonce tonight, let's hope you get to see night two of Pink at Fenway Park. This is video of her last night over Fenway Park doing these incredible stunts. Um, by the way, somebody sent me this fucking clip of Pink at Fenway Park, and it had to be the sickest thing I've ever seen. You know, she's always had like the trapeze stuff flying around, the crouching tiger, hidden dragon stuff, right? She's at, she's like in the outfield. Then all of a sudden, she just starts doing backflips over the whole crowd across the whole stadium on this wire. Just And they had her lit up like Tinkerbell. It looked like anyway. And she just fucking, I don't know how many she did. Like, <laughs> she did like fucking 20 of them. Across a major league baseball park. And then she landed on this little thing like Superman, like waved to everybody. And then they brought her along the upper deck and she was like running, acting like she was running in air along the fucking upper deck. And then it goes back to where she started and she's still running in the air. And at one point she just has like one leg up and one leg down, like landing like Superman and this fucking thing she landed on couldn't have been more than like like two feet across, a little circle, and she landed right on it. It was like the sickest thing I think I've ever seen in a concert. I just can't imagine being on drugs way at the back of the stadium, and you're just sitting there going like, Jesus Christ, these fucking seats suck. I mean, that might as well be Martha Stewart down there, and all she's just like, ah. It's fucking coming at you. <laughs> like, wait a minute. I hope she warned people. If Hey, anybody on psychedelics, just to let you know, this is real. Okay, it's all done with wires, you know? It's super safe, all right? Just letting everybody know before I freak you out. That's what was killing me, because it's the greatest visual thing I think I've ever seen. I've watched it like 100 times. Like, I don't even know, how, how does she count? How do they time it? Like, how does she know? Like, she's doing the backflips. Um, I don't, who the fuck doesn't, who the hell would do that? All the shit that's happened in concerts, fucking lighting, things falling down on people, paralyzing them, you do that. It's... Three, two, one. That's cool. That's like astronaut level balls. But anyways, I was just kept thinking about if like nobody knew that technology existed, but somehow they had it back in the 80s when I was going to concerts. And I was just thinking like, and you had no idea that was coming, like what the crowd would have just stampeded out of the stadium thinking you were like a fucking witch or something. You know, if you went to go see Queen and Freddie Mercury is up there, I paid my price. I paid my dues. He just started fucking backflipping across the fucking stadium. <laughs> People be like, dude, this guy's a fucking witch. Let's get out of here, man. <laughs> anyway, shout out to Pinker and anybody who saw that. I can't imagine if you're up there and all of a sudden, even just for that moment, even though your seats suck, right? Not the backflip part. But when she runs by, like she's on this fucking invisible unit, look like, like like she's on a horse, just came flying by. I mean, that right there makes it like work the, worth the trip. I think it's, it's a really smart thing. Anyway, I was fucking blown away by that. I don't know who the hell came up with that shit. We had Tommy Lee going upside down in his drum kit. But even then, they showed it in the music video. So you, you, they, Motley Crue was nice enough to give you the heads up that it was coming because they knew that their crowd was going to be on drugs. Um, anybody was at that Fenway show, like tripping on mushrooms or whatever, and had no idea that that maybe you were a casual fan of Pink? I'm coming out, the gonna get the pie. <laughs> I'm coming at you know, like you know you know like the hits, right? You don't know the deeper cuts, deep pink, right? 
So you just fucking go with a friend of yours, you know, and you're like, well, you know, all right. At least I can do some drugs. Anybody? Did anybody go to that show and have no fucking idea that that pink was going to be in seven seconds right next to your fucking seat? (laughs) Pink makes music for obnoxious white bridal parties that drunkenly walk into a Denny's and ruin everyone's evening. (laughs) I would have said Waffle House, but... alone and travel around the road time's changing i'm growing i'm getting old things seem different from what i was told i've loved a lot and lost a lot searching for my heart of gold i keep moving the beat soothing the 